right? Like if you're having a normal conversation and homeboy push you or he hits you, okay, fine, he's wrong, right? But if you are the one who is, you know, trying to press buttons, y'all, you might press the wrong button. The pressure might fly up in him head. You might get a box or two. You might not get the wrong place. And yeah, it's a wrap. Family, welcome back to the channel. My name is Diane Emanuel, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit more different. Okay. Why? I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to push through. Okay. You, you know, we got to spread out little, you know, our little horizons and things and things. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, you know, we got to do this eyebrow thing. But before we do that, though, okay. Why not get a press the subscribe button yet? That's for the Caribbean people. But for my English speaking people, why you ain't pressed that subscribe button yet? <laughs> Secretly, I want to judge you. Okay, but I'm trying not to. Okay, I'm trying not to. So help me to help you. To help me. Okay. Press the button, my man. Press subscribe now. Come the man. Be a part of the family now. Wow. Okay, thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that bell notification button so that you can get more videos from me. Alright? Now, you know we have to talk. We have to talk. I saw this video about Quavo pushing Sweetie in the elevator. Oh, you ready? You ready? <laughs> okay, so be back. Okay. Be back. Let me tell you something, right? I got this new brush from the dollar store. Baby, I don't even know its name. Okay, but I got three brushes, I think, for like $3.50 Canadian. Let me tell you something. I don't know if it's the brush or if it's my skills that are getting better. But baby, this brush gave me a permanent attitude. Well, not permanent. It's only permanent. So like, like, you know, it's temporary. But girl, don't judge me. Okay. Like, like I don't even gotta, like, I don't even gotta do it too, too much. Like, you see that? Girl. Girl. This brush. Like, they angled it in a kind of way. I don't know if you can see. Mm -hmm. Can you see it though? I don't know. Okay. okay, you can see. You can see that angle? Oh, child. I don't know what this brush name is, but whoever constructed this... That's all I gotta say. I don't know if it's my skills that's getting better. Like, all I, I feel like doing is just talking like this. You know, this thing basically gave me the Rock Johnson type of eyebrows. Like... Are you going to get your camel concealer? Okay, this camel concealer that we're going to get right now is not the uh, matte one. You're going to go and get the white one, okay? Get the white one. So, the 16-hour camel concealer, and that's just the white finish. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> okay. Give her a good shake. All right, so we're going to do a specific shape today, okay? You can spread it all over like I'm going to do right now. But you're gonna have to like cut out in the shape of a butterfly. Okay. You understand? You understand what I mean? Okay. Now get you your flat uh, foundation brush and just blend, girl. Blend. Now, I don't know if you've seen the video with uh, Sweetie and uh, So Weedy. Not Sweetie. So Weedy. Okay. And Quavo. In the elevator. Okay, she probably is a customer playing games with him. You know what I'm saying? And she took his, um, some kind of game that he, I think, he has a, a deal with, you know? And, um, yeah. So she's a customer playing around with him or whatever. And he just... Oh, nigga, you wrong for that. You really wrong for that. I don't care what a woman does. Like, you know, I'm gonna talk to the females too, okay? I'm not trying to be biased. Because I understand that there is a time and a place for things and... That was probably just not the time and the place for it, okay? Like, if we had beef for the day and you feel like it's not that big a beef, okay, and that you can come and farm the fool and try and take away my stuff that, you know, I just got from the developers or whatever, then, you know, you know what I'm saying? But, homeboy, this is the year, you know, of technology. There is bound to be a camera somewhere about the place. You feel me? So, I don't think you should have done that. Make her grab the box or whatever, and, you know, you can always hit her with a lawsuit. You know what I'm saying? Not go where, the, you know, it hurts, you know, and then go to the superintendent of the building and ask them for the video and whatever. 
and things and things you know everybody's saying that she's the one who basically leaked the video so you know i don't know but you know something like that Like I was saying, like it is the age of cameras and everything and anything basically is gonna get put on the internet. Okay. Now I'm I'm hearing from the blogs and stuff that it's sweetie. Some guy called her streety, because I guess she's for the streets. I don't know. Girl, I'm trying not to <laughs> you know just trying to talk on the surface, you know. Yeah. So you're gonna get your micellar water and a Q-tip and basically work out the areas that you want. Alright? Yeah, yeah. I'll try to look at you. I'll try to look at you. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the Beauty Glaze Color Fusion over the Rainbow Palette and, you know, color in our little blue white. Okay, mm -hmm. <sighs> child. These celebrity love triangles, like, it just makes you feel that, well, their situation, you know, celebrity love situation makes you feel like being in love is just not worth it as a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? Like, normal people got crazy stuff going on. But these celebrities make things look like even worse. Like, you know about more money, more problems. So, them is the kind of problems I'm seeing a lot of. Like, it's always some kind of entanglement. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so get you your brush, girl. And go in with, like, you know, dark blue at the top of the wings. And work your way down to being, like, lighter blue. Okay? So, we will use these two. Or this and this. Let's try this one first and then work our way down. Okay, yeah. So this blue and this blue. Okay? Just do it sporadically. Like, it, it doesn't have to go down, you know, perfect. You know what I'm saying? Girl, just do what I do. Okay? Yeah. So, in the elevator, right? You saw her grab a box of his and then, you know he grabbed it back from her and he pulled her into the elevator all right and she basically fell like really hard okay and he didn't help her like he didn't help her at all like <laughs> girl the fall that she got it was just and she's a little she's like she's petite so just imagine that fall that she got and she looked like she was trying to like come back up like to stand up and stuff and she couldn't stand back up at that point, you know what I mean? And he just stood there and just looked at her like, you're trouble, 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 trouble you. Oh, this relationship just don't look healthy. And I'm kind of happy that they're done because that elevator situation just made it look like, bro, sweetie, baby, like, you know what type of man this is. Like, trust me, these ladies know what type of man they're with. But because they know, like, you know, social media will be on their side that they they go all out and do some some stupid stuff, right? But with videos and stuff nowadays, they say a picture tells a thousand words, but what about a video though? Like, at first, you were the person who antagonized him, so, you know, he grabbed his stuff. Like, you know, you were trying to assault the man. So him basically pushing you is self-defense. Sweetie, girl. If I was your friend, I would have told you like, yo, Girl, you shouldn't have done that. Like, you should have just let him have his little bag, his little whatever, and just gone about your business, girl. Like, sis, I would have just left Shorty alone with his stuff. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know. 
Okay, so with this kind of painting, right, you have to go in with a lot of different blue colors and stuff. So just pick and choose between the blue and stuff and see which one fits good where. Okay, it's not just it's not just two colors alone. Yeah, so just make sure the top is darker than the bottom part. In the middle, you can go ham. Okay? Alright, back to what I was saying. So women know the type of men that they're with like after a month okay everybody has patterns okay and we are more likely to pay attention to a man's pattern than a man would to our patterns right now after we done seeing what you can do in the bed like the first time you know and then we start to notice other things like you know quirks things that would like piss you off things that you don't like things that you like you know what i mean so like in that first month a woman basically has gotten a lot of forensics okay on the dude that she's with okay sweetie and Quavo have been together for a hot minute okay it's not like really really long time and whatever but it's a hot minute so she should have known what type of fella she got if you know there are certain things that you do girl that he's not gonna like like why you do that for though if you know when he gets angry he flies into a certain mood and you know you're looking at it as like a joke right he chances are he's not gonna look at it as a joke home oh, girl i'm so sorry but i can't give you right in this situation i really can't i don't know you from a leaf and a leaf blower but i'm just saying that what you did with grabbing him homeboy stuff was just not right it wasn't right. Other women are gonna be like, oh, but he had no right to push her. It's cause and effect. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction, okay? I don't know the smart guy that said that, but I just know that saying. It stuck with me. Because, like, if somebody grabs my stuff and I'm already pissed off with them, like, you finna catch these hands, boo. I, I, I'm just saying, okay? I'm, I'm, I might just swing on you, okay? Now, um, in this situation, she knew that the guy was pissed off. So, baby, leave his thing alone. Like, if it is your bag, and he has your bag in his hands, and he's saying that you have to come with him, and you try to grab your bag from him, then that's a little situation that's different. You know what I mean? That's, like, completely different. But you grabbing his possession in the court of law, you're not going to get right for it. You're not. Now, him pushing you is going to be considered, like, you know, self-defense. Like, he's trying to get you off his stuff right he does look at a whole bunch of problems i know people want to like hold on to relationships and stuff but there are times when you should just what the feeling that you're getting both of you should have a conversation with each other tell each other what you are both feeling and in that conversation you know if you guys should continue being with each other should be in that conversation as well so that you are not leading on each other and all of that good stuff don't just stay there in a festering relationship and just hope that things are going to get better chances are they're not gonna get better if you have a cut and you have that cut in an environment that has nothing healing right like it's not being cleaned, it's got dirt coming on it, you know what I mean, all type of stuff coming on it, you're not cleaning it. Basically, what you're looking for is to have an infected cut. In a relationship, in celebrity, you know, in a celebrity status, you're not in the environment that basically nourishes a relationship. So you are already in a toxic environment. The two of you want to have a relationship, but circumstances around you are basically not allowing that to happen. Guys want you, sweetie. Girls want Huevo. And, you know, either one of you ended up falling for it and cheating. Basically, that was just like the first sign to let it go. Don't stay there and try to work it out. If you know deep inside your morals is like, yo, I don't want this relationship because I'm not a person that likes cheating. And you went out, you stepped out on me. So let's call it quits. If he don't want to call it quits, then he's in a relationship by himself. You guys need to do the best thing, okay? Take some antibiotics. Leave each other alone. I'm just saying. I said that with the most respect, girl, okay? You know? Mm, yeah.
Okay. So we got a little drawing and it's done. Okay. Now I'm sorry for not like you know recording all of this. It's like it's really long. Okay. But if you can see, it's mostly just dab with some yellow. Okay, get a lighter yellow and swirl around and then take some white and then just you know sporadically just you know pass on the lighter yellow and girl just 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 hit him with a swoop just just go with a swoop okay okay it's not that hard <laughs> it looks hard but it's not it's really not okay so we're gonna go into the eyes and i'm gonna use the nubian by juvius and just like get my transition color going my crease color going and tings and tings and tings okay just leave him be if he's in his attitude Okay, just like we females want guys to like give us our space, girl, if you said something and irritated him and you know, because you've been with this guy for a hot minute and you know the type of attitude that this guy got, girl, leave him alone. Lamb Luan. Because now what people are saying is that you are, you're a problem starter, right? And you know... Hearing that your team is who released, you know, the video. People hearing that it's your team who released the video. It just, it doesn't look good for you, sis. It really don't. Like, every girl who is with a guy knows how far to push the men, okay? And if you know that your man is somebody like Quavo, who is easy to pop off, That's just supposed to tell you, like, there are certain limits that you can go to, and there are certain limits that you just should not. Okay? Now, don't grab his stuff. If you know that he is pissed off, bro, just leave that man be. There is no woman out there, okay, that is as strong as a man. I don't care how much bench pressing that you do, okay? You are not as strong as that man, okay? A man's strength is always gonna overpower a woman, alright? Now, People are gonna say, well, it depends. It depends on how strong the guy is compared to the woman if she is, you know, if she's stronger than him. Okay, well, we're not going to test that theory and see who is stronger than who because in real life, nobody's gonna do that. Nobody's going to say, okay, well, let me see how strong, you know, I am compared to you. So the next time we meet or next time that, you know, I irritate you, I, I know, you know, well, you can't do this or you can't do that to me. Like, in real life, ain't nobody finna do that, okay? Sis, women of the world, just leave the man alone. You know what kind of guy you're with. You know what that man can take. You know what that man can't stand. If you know he's pissed off, when he's pissed off, then, you know, you grabbing onto his stuff or you, you know, antagonizing him. People like to say, poke the bear. You poking the bear is, you know, fun for you and whatever because you think that he's not gonna hit you. One of these days, sis, you never know. He might fly into that rage, okay, and he might hit you, okay? Now, it's not gonna be right for any man to hit a woman, you know what I mean? But, and then when he like fling her to the floor, you know, she was like caught off guard, like, I didn't expect you to actually like wild out like that, son. You know what I mean? I didn't expect you to wild out like that. But, like I said before, there is no woman that is strong as a man, okay? There is no woman that is as strong as a man. So you might think that you're going to antagonize him to do something, and then when he does do it, what are you going to say, though? Right? Like, if you're having a normal conversation and homeboy push you or he hits you, okay, fine, he's wrong, right? But if you are the one who is, you know, trying to press buttons, y'all, you might press the wrong button. The pressure might fly up in him head. You might get a box out too, you might not get a wrong place, and yeah, it's a wrap. Girl, I'm gonna finish this face, and I'll come back, okay? Alright. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the final product and it came out better than I thought. Okay, <laughs> girl, I don't know if it's the brushes or if our skills just be getting better and better with every drawing. Girl, I don't know. I don't know, but I like... Ooh, ooh girl, ooh, ooh, girl. Let me tell you something. Listen, 
don't need to toot my own horn. I'm not that girl. Who that is right there? Who that is right there, girl? Yes, it's so. My final words on the Quavo and the Sweetie thing, I'm trying my hardest not to keep talking about these people. You know what I mean? Because they don't know me, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's a conversation to be had, all right? Ladies, ladies, like I said in this video, you will never be stronger physically, okay, like a man. Meaning, push for push, okay? Don't do it. If you know the man that you are with, and you know that he's an ignorant type of person, maybe don't, don't, don't agitate the man, okay? Keep yourself out of harm's way and just, yeah, all right? Just don't trouble trouble unless trouble troubles you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and smoosh that bell notification button so that you can get more videos <laughs> from me, girl. I'm like a con rose and sing, so. Yeah, I'm like it. I'm like, in a, in a rough. This one, you're in a rough. Girl, I love it. Oh, I love it. I would have yelled 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 it. Alright, see you guys in the next one. Later.